so I filmed this sick makeup tutorial. I am currently sick and I was just like, I need to get something out. I was going to film my Instagram pics my makeup tutorial, but again, I'm sick and I want to be, I don't want to half-ass it. I want to be the best I can be for that video, so we're going to pause on that one. Hopefully I will get that out pretty soon though. I do really want to get that up. Um, but I filmed this tutorial because I know that while you're sick, you should get your rest and make sure you're healing. And I don't always want to wear makeup when I'm sick. But there are times where we don't want to look dead. Like we gotta go out in public and we don't really want to look like a zombie. Especially since we tend to look worse when we're sick. So this is just a tutorial with some tips on how to not look dead. How many times can I say that? In this tutorial, a lot of there are a lot of similarities to my other get ready with me videos, my everyday base. Um, because I do like a more radiant, fresh look, and <clears throat> I do, I just want to say that bear with me for this tutorial, because even if you don't like that look for every day, I do go into depth and explain why these techniques and products are more relevant to this type of look, and not just because I like the way it looks. Does that make sense? I I go more into depth to show you why you should do this and how it's actually gonna help your skin as opposed to just, oh, do this because I like the way it looks. I don't know. This is more geared for all skin types rather than just what I like. I said that enough. Okay, I'm going to get into the video. Um, thank you for watching. First things first, you're going to want to start off with a prepped base. So, when we're sick, our skin is usually pretty dehydrated. Um, I can't tell you why. I'm not that educated on the matter. But I do know that your skin is a bit dehydrated. So, you definitely want to go in and moisturize. Even if you're oily skin, definitely sure you're moisturizing. In fact, I'm oily skin and I definitely use a heavier moisturizer when I am sick. So I did that and I went in and used an eye cream. I refrigerate mine just so it's really re cool. It's really it's cold and it feels really refreshing. Don't have to do that, but it does feel good especially on those days where your under eyes are drier. I let that sink in for 45 minutes probably don't have to do that but at least do 10 to 15 and um and then i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because that for me doesn't change for this type of look my eyebrow routine really never changes to be honest so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that off camera and i'll come back and teach you Okay, my eyebrows are on, and they're not my best, but I'm sick. I don't really care. Now I'm going to move on to prepping or priming my skin. Like I was saying, when you're sick, we tend to be dehydrated, so I want to go in with some more irradiating products to give my skin a luminosity to hide the fact that I am sick and I am on the dull or more pale side. I'm going to take Max Strobe Cream and I'm going to put that on my face as a base and this will just give my skin a radiant. My nose always gets really red around the nostril area. I'm just going to take a green color corrector and I'm going to put that around the sides. They're not too bad right now but I know that if I had waited till tomorrow they would be extremely red so I 
I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the video and tap that in and then because I always break out really bad when I'm getting sick because my immune system hates me I'm gonna put that over my really annoying spots I'm just gonna be taking the bomb shelter tinted moisturizer and just literally going to rub that on my face Then I'm going to go in with some concealer, um, nothing crazy, just more of a hydrating concealer, so naked skin, and I'm, okay, that's not what I meant to do, but put some lighter concealer to brighten, or highlight, as you may say, and then my normal shade as well. And I'm going in with a beauty blender rather than a brush this time just because I want that added hydration and I don't want it to be too I don't need I do need coverage but I'd rather opt for light layers than full coverage just enough to look alive <clears throat> okay and then using a cream bronzer, basically my matte concealer palette. When doing makeup, when you are sick, I would recommend going in with more cream products. Just to, for, I would recommend going in with more cream products because you guessed it for more hydration. I'm gonna go in with the second to darkest shade this time because I am a little bit more pale since I haven't gone outside. I'm gonna use that to bronze. I'm gonna highlight using the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Starburst. I'm not gonna go as heavy as normal. Actually, I'm even gonna mix that with Mimosa because I'm not as pale as I thought I was. I'm going to set with powder because I just need to do that. So when it comes to powder, I would recommend using a smaller amount than normal, even if you are oily, because this is what is going to make your skin seem more dry. I'm not going to bake. I'm not going to go in real heavy. I'm gonna blush usually, usually using the MAC Patrick Star. I'm not blushing below. Well. And really make sure you get some color back to the face. I'm even gonna use the darker side just to bronze because I don't really want to take out another bronzer. And set with a hydrating setting spray. I'm gonna go in with MAC Fix Plus because why else? Why would I use anything else? For the eyes, uh, I don't really think I need to go too in depth on that other than keep it light, keep it fresh, don't go too heavy because you don't really wanna, you just, you want the appearance to be that you're awake. I just did my eyes off camera because, like I said, to keep it light and fresh, all I did was run my blush over my eyelids and under my eyes. I did a little bit of brown eyeliner, tight lighting, and some mascara. That's literally it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and pop on a gloss. I just recommend keeping things glossy and hydrated. I'm going to try and use something that's not my Dior gloss. Let's use this Buxom gloss in sugar. 
and we already set the face so that was the last step and this is the look it's pretty simple um and it's pretty quick too especially if you're not talking like i am and not taking breaks in between so thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe so i know to keep making videos i'm trying really hard to be more consistent maybe not necessarily a set date but i am trying to roll out videos within i don't know what i'm saying i'm trying to be better so again make sure to like and subscribe and uh follow me on instagram where i'm the most active at makeup by elena two a's at the end i'll link it in the bio or description box below and have a great day